Hello guys, thank you for joining us in this seven months lock update. And my daughter's hair is officially seven months. However, this photo is actually her last couple days in her sixth month. And of course, the lock will stick up and bend in directions that you didn't see coming. So let's dive straight into her seventh month. And as you can see some color, I did add some color to her hair. So right here, I had just finished washing her hair and I went ahead and put some leave-in conditioner and that's what you're seeing me wiping right now before I get started on her retwist. When it comes to products, I use the same products that I used to use in her hair when she was a loose natural. Lox is still hair and I still use the same things. I don't know if you guys remember when I was saying that her hair in the middle especially was getting tangled. So it was right here in this retwist that I went ahead and interlocked her hair. So since I've interlocked her hair, I haven't had that issue with seeing her hair or her hair being tangled or matted, especially in the middle. So that is under control. I did not record myself when I was interlocking her hair, but the way how I did it was I pretty much put the product in, right? The gel that I used to retwist her hair. It's a light gel, by the way, put it in. Once I spin it around with the comb, I then take the, the crochet needle and start it interlocking from the root. However, I don't pull it too tight because I'm not trying to close down on, the, on how thicker locks will grow in that area. So I just put it in maybe, I believe I did it once or twice max. For her hair, it's definitely not necessary for me to interlock to go in four, five, or six times. Some cases you need to do that, but with her hair, that was not necessary. And then after a week, I go in with the interlock and then I bind the rest of the loose hair that's not binded together. Because remember, once you interlock the hair, which is going to be close to the root or to the scalp, that's the part that's binded, right? So there's still loose hair that's coming down after that area. So I went in with one um, Instalock needle and just go in with it to bind those hair. And then when I did that, I went in with the, the one that has two needles and then I continued to thoroughly bind that together. So here is her hair weeks later since I did that maintenance on her hair. This is what it looks like right now. So I am going to go back in and insta lock her hair a little bit more to bind any other loose hair that I want to seal because I didn't do it thoroughly last time. So I'm going to do it again so that I don't have to do any more maintenance on her hair for months and months to come. And when I say maintenance, I'm talking about the quote unquote tune ups, not the retwist, but actually doing this type of maintenance to her hair. See, your locks are no different from your car getting an oil change, a tune up, your nails getting a refill. It's the same thing. You go into the barbershop ever so often, all of it is the same. Your locks are literally the same thing. You have to maintain them from time to time or do tune-ups on them outside of your regular retwist. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.